let's talk about this seven eight slot yeah. and look at some of the giants who since 2017 since uh, january 2017 who have made this position their own and uh, in case you're wondering what pastra is it's batting average and strike rate um, yes be careful with <laughs> when arbhajan said <laughs> when arbhajan no said no reference to anyone we know <laughs> But yeah, Chisara Pereira, the first name. Arvind will look at it. Me, I'm the most good guy. Basra. No, Arvind will say Basra is very important. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. And in fact, there was a time when he could have probably fitted in there, given yeah. that uh, his prowess. But the thing to look there is a strike rate. When you're batting number seven in a, on a good batting surface, Chisara 124. He's actually had a yeah, he's had a very good 2017. But 118, Moin Ali, Hardik 116, Chris Wokes 105. And it tells you why maybe Mitch, Mitch Santner there. Uh, Or 20, 21 games, or maybe Grandhom will have a big better strike rate. If you're coming in at seven, you need to score at uh, at, at those at, at that strike rate. It's also telling me that each of these are good T20 player. He's, he's coming back and they're bringing T20 into the game here. Exactly, and I think that last column, uh, the balls per six that we're having a look at, maybe not always a factor you talk about in 50 over cricket, but certainly as an impact player, you need somebody to come and hit those big yeah. runs at the end. And and that's what that's what that statistic is telling you. Well, yeah, yeah. Everyone actually uh, approaches the game in that fashion. You know, you you need wickets in hand. Why do you say you need wickets in hand so that you can uh, you can have uh, that much liberty at the at the back end of the innings to to go after uh, bowling and try and get those sixes because uh, they really change uh, and have a very uh, very direct impact on what kind of total a team is going to make and whether you're going to go uh, above. Par uh, on on that particular day or no? Also, it tells me number seven can get that strike rate if number one to six have batted well, and so yeah. seven's role is to come and finish the game now. If one to six haven't played well, then you won't see those kind of strike rates for number seven. And I wonder if with Santana that's the case, that his strike rate is lower than a hundred because maybe the top six haven't consistently scored runs for New Zealand. Yes, certainly the kind of starts that we've taken. But remember, it's not just about that role or how they perform in that. Excellent. The other role that they need to perform is with the ball. Since we are calling them uh, batting all-rounders, how often have these particular men performed in terms of bowling ten overs? We talked about Hardik Pandya's numbers. How does it stack up against the likes of Tisara Pereira, Chris Wokes, and Mitch Santner? Let's have a look at these numbers. We put that together for you as well. And this is the same utility men since January 2017. Seven plus overs bowled. Uh, out of 10 which is, i think is a good indicator of how often they bowl and how much so i think that that, that tells the story as well also this this list if you uh, have a look closely there are a lot of bowlers who've been forced to bowl you know they've they've not uh, natural uh, uh, bowlers like in in hardik's case as well you've you've seen in moin ali's case you know he's he's not started off as as soft spinner they've started as as pure batsman but because that importance of that role people uh, and and many teams are always always uh, for that lookout of finding those players who they can push to become those uh, those kind of uh, impact players in that situation so i think more and more uh, you'll see even sara parera yeah. for that matter you know he was he was purely a bowler but have been uh, uh, like forced to kind of take up that role of of being a finisher you know he's he's, he's someone who will just go out there and look to tonk and and not really look to build an innings but he's been forced to focus on his uh, batting more because his natural discipline has been bowling what it also tells me is each of those sides has, has someone in the top 6 who's bowling because if you're batting at number 7 or 8 mostly 7 and you're not bowling your your 10 overs consistently it means each of those sides has someone in 1 to 6 who's who, who should be able to give you uh, give you overs uh, santner and wokes in that list are i think bowlers first who then start to bat the others i'm i'm not as convinced i think hardik's bowling is coming along uh, is coming along in a big way but the others are, are now i think patisara started as a bowling all rounder now in a team of 10 he just comes in a, he's the 11th player in the team who comes and plays as the floater